Cindy Otter here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? We are here for my creative year review. And today I'm going to talk about foil. Now, some of you uh, definitely know what this is all about. So this video really isn't for you unless you want to learn a little bit more or whatever. Um, but I want to talk to you um, about these wonderful foilables that um, I've been having so much fun playing with. It's hard to get the... That one's hard, but it is purple. It's got purple leaves. Um, so these are from Creative Visions. Look at this. That is the actual color that you're seeing right there. This is like a, hol uh, not a holographic, but like a, um, a rainbow color. Look at that. And these are just uh, flowers or, you know, little weeds, however you want to look at it. Let me see if I can get you closer. See it? All right, there you can see the colors. That is the colors of this foil that I used. Um, this one here has silver on it. These are all, all what you see here is just because they were done um, back when we were on a, a retreat. But look at this. This one's all silver. It's just beautiful. Um, then we have a gold, which is great. Actually, let me bring you in. Hold on. Let's bring you in. There you go. There's the gold. Look at that foil. Um, here is the, it's like a, almost like a rusty brownish orange, which is a really cool color. And then this one here is a rainbow again. I used that rainbow on this foilable. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm showing you the colors. And then what I'm going to do is show you how this process actually works. That one's done like an orange. And um, I'm going to show you a way to do it with a laminator and without a laminator. So if this is something you've never done, um, you know, maybe it'll help you out a little bit. This one is actually the rainbow again. It's so hard to get these on camera because in, in real life they're just so beautiful. Here's another one of the silver. Look at that. How crazy is that? Isn't that awesome? And then here's another silver. This is just actually, see the silver? That's what it is, but when you put it under the lights, look at the colors that it grabs. That's crazy, right? Okay, so let me show you these. Get this stuff out of the way. Um, these are called foilables, and they come, oh, let me back it back out. They come from a, a beautiful lady named Laura, and she is the owner of Creative Vision Stamps. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard about her or if you've ever tried any of her products, but these are so awesome. She actually sells packs of these foilables. This one, for example, this is a four by five and five five and a quarter, um, and it gives you six. Now, th these small packets of foilables. Um, you get six of the same. See, they've been used, so I have four left. But you get six of the same design in these little packets. And the little packets themselves is $3.50. For six card fronts or for using in your um, mixed media journal, any of that kind of stuff, I don't think that's a bad price. Now, you, you can purchase the foilables, which honestly I recommend. You can do it through the um, a printer, which we're actually going to work on that later. This is a printer. And then also you can do another way, which is with the Deco Foil Transfer Gel. Okay, but we're going to start out with the laminating process. Let me see how far I can bring you out. Oh, look at my mess. Okay, so let's start out with this foilable process. Okay, we're going to do it with a laminator. This is called a swing line. It was $20 on Amazon. Um, I'm going to bring you in just a touch. So you don't have to see my belly. <laughs> uh, this is called a swing line. It's a laminator, $20 on Amazon. Uh, it's worked perfect for me. I haven't had any issues with it. I do, or I did, I, re I got rid of it, but I did have another laminator, but it was huge. I mean, it was just huge, big, and bulky, and I thought, you know, for what I do for laminating, this is perfect. So if you have a swing line, what you're going to do is you're going to turn your swing line on, and you've got to make sure that it's got your green, your green light on, okay? This does. can't really see it on camera, but it does. So what I'm going to do here... Um, Got a little piece of green here. 
And let's see, what do I want to put green on? Let's, let's do these trees, why not? So we're going to start with these. I'm going to show you how to do it, and then I'm going to show you some more designs she has, which are fantastic. This we'll talk about in a minute. All right, so what you're going to need is you're going to need a piece of copier paper. Okay, this one's fine, especially for a small piece. You're going to fold it in half, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your foilables. This is so simple, it's just not funny. Um, wouldn't this make a great background on a Christmas card? All right, so you're going to take one of your foilables. You're going to take a piece of your foil. Now, this is where a lot of people um, misunderstand using foil. You do not put it with the foil facing down. It's not going to work, okay? It has to be with the color of your foil facing up, and I'm just going to cut a piece of this off so we don't have all of it in there. And hope I cut it off even. All right, you're going to lay your foil down, face up, the color up into your little piece of um, copier paper. Okay, we're gonna leave it right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna put it through my laminator over here. My laminator with the sealed side. This is the sealed side of the paper. Remember, we put it in here and we put the foil on it. And I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna run it through my laminator. This is just crazy, crazy simple. While this goes through, it only takes a minute, um, I'm going to show you this is what you get when you're done foiling your pieces. These are the um, leftovers. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't like throwing things away. Now, when I see something like this, look at that. Look at that. Oh, heck yeah, I'm keeping that. Because remember, what the foil does is the foil adheres to the black printing on these cards. All right, so this is done. Now, don't you? You really shouldn't just open it up and take it off. Okay, it's got to cool down, and basically, when you let it cool down for a second, it allows that foil to adhere to this printing. So let me move this over for a second. Let's see what we have. All right, this looks like it was a little bit wrinkled. That could have been my fault. Let's see, here we go. There you go, look at that. Now let me bring you in so you can see it. Whoops, sorry guys, I don't wanna get you seasick here, but I wanna bring you, there we go. So now all of the green that was on this foil has adhered to the black on this foilable card. Now this, some people throw them away. Honestly, I won't throw it away. I'll end up using it for something. Um, and it's as simple as that. How simple is that? Let me bring you back out. So a quick you know, piece of copy paper, some foil. Uh, Laura has a ton of different colors of foil. I'll just show you a few of them here. Let me just move that aside. Um, we've got the purple, we've got the green. This is um, like an orange, kind of like a, a copperish, more like a copperish orange, which is really cool. She's got this, and honestly, I can't remember. I think it was, I can't remember the name of this one. Um, and I know they didn't get put back in their right um, plastic, so I can't. Here's, here's a roll of it. This is one of the small rolls. And then she also has the large rolls, which is right here. Um, this one... Let me see if it says on it what it is. Now, this one doesn't say um, what color it is. But there's all different kinds of, of colors. We've got this one. These are just what I happen to have. Um, this one here. This is just a silver. And a blue. Now, I will want to tell you that there are packs of foil and stuff in um, the stores that you you can use other types of foil. Um, do I recommend it? I don't know. I've never tried it. I like what I get. I like the results that I get from Laura's um, foil. So I'm going to continue to stay with this. All right. So there are more uh, colors. And what I'll do is I'll put the link to her shop 
in uh, I'm sorry to our website in the description box below so that you can order or you know take a look and see what she has so since I have my thing out I'm gonna play a little bit more my thing <laughs> my laminator uh, let me finish showing you these first here's the silver like I said there's not a lot left because it, it adheres to whatever the black is on the page and look at this one how cool is that I can't wait to use these I'm gonna use them on something I'm just not sure what probably in my journal pages so again I don't throw away the leftover foil some people do that's fine it's totally up to you let me move this out of the way alright so we've done this with the laminator I'm just gonna do it again real quick let's see let's see what some of the other designs are that we've got she's got the Christmas trees um, we've got the snowflakes isn't that pretty just all different types of patterns on these foilables and these are a cardstock base they're not a thin paper so they are a cardstock base these would be perfect to use on the front of a Christmas card or the front of a you know Mother's Day card whatever the case may be here's some more these are the ones that we had played with or some of them uh, let's see here's some more different designs I love this one this one I'm surprised when you first look at it I thought it looked like a little bugs but once you foil it it just looks really cool it looks really neat so that's this pattern here and I don't see it just says zero one one toner sheets so I'm not sure um, what the actual names of these are you may want to like I said check her website now this is some um, also that we were using at the retreat and these are happy Halloweens and they're just this little guy this spider how great is that to take it and cut it out use your punch punch it out after it's foiled and everybody's big into those artist trading coins right now so these would be fantastic for that now in here is a bunch because this is we were on the retreat and Laura was so kind to send us some of the goodies to play with and I just want to show you some of these. Baby, it's cold outside. May your days be merry and bright. Give thanks. Actually, let's do this one. We're going to do a give thanks. Um, yeah, let's do a give thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, Feliz Navidad. And that's it for in here. But these were ones that came in a big sheet, and then we ended up cutting them down so we could use them. So that's some more patterns. This is another pattern with these flowers, which is really cool when it's when it's foiled up. Um, another happy Halloween with a scary pumpkin face, which is cool. Here's the leaves. These leaves are so cool. Now this size is five dollars, um, and I don't remember. Okay, there's four. There's four of these for five bucks. All right. These I actually want to do these, so I'm going to keep these out. The to and from tags now here's the big ones um, and what this does is this comes in a full sheet so you can either cut them apart or hang on, you can either cut them apart or you can just do them as a full sheet now look at these patterns there's the actual instructions on how to do it Look at these patterns. I love this. This is cool. Look at this. So pretty. The stars. Um, these are just awesome patterns. I want to play around with some more of these today also. So I'm supposed to be doing a review, but actually I'll, I just want to play. <laughs> All right. So here's those. And that one gives you four different sheets. And these are $4.95. So really, you can't beat that. Look at how many um, card fronts you can make really quick, simple, and easy. Now she also has these words. Um, creativity is contagious, pass it on. Creativity is, is messy, be messy. Uh, being creative is not a hobby, it's a way of life. Um, there's just so many of these. Life is short, skip work, stay home and craft, just get inky. And again, this is four sheets and they're all different.
Are they? No. Yes, they are. Here they are. Be bold and you will create your wildest uh, dreams. Has anyone seen my mojo? All right. So you get two sheets of each. So you'll have two of these, two of these, two of these, etc. These are fantastic. I can't wait to use those up. And we have more of the patterns. Hold on. I want to get this put back. Come on. I actually was introduced to these um, probably two years, a year and a half ago, um, up in Syracuse when I was up in New York. Uh, she came to a show in Syracuse, and that's where I was introduced to them, and I just really love them. These patterns, again, you get all these really cool patterns. I have to bring them out because looking at those do nothing for me. I want to see them. I want to see them whole. All right, look at this. Look how cool that is. This one's making my eyes go wonky. We've got this one. I mean, I can just picture these in all types of things. I can picture them on tags. I can picture, I mean, you can foil it, put it through your uh, die cut machine and, and, you know, die cut a tag out of it or just cut it first and then foil it either way. All right, and then here's the last one. So this one is called Patterns 1. The one pre, uh, previous to it was Patterns 2. All right. Now, as you can see under here, we also have animals. And these are just blackened out animals. And what you do is you just take and foil one. And it looks really cool. So I'm going to do one of those for you. Hang on. Ah! All right, I'm just going to set this aside for right now. I know it goes in that bag. Here's the animals, which four, and like I said, they're only five bucks for four different sheets, and these are really cool. I'll have to pick one of those out and do for you. Um, here's some more tags, which are cool. Uh, more Halloween. This is Halloween one. These guys are really neat. I'm not sure where mine went that I, I think I might have used it already in my journal. Um, these are just really, really cool. Again, this is the one that had the uh, baby, it's cold outside. May your days be merry and bright. This is Christmas 2. Eat, drink, and be thankful. Um, here's the leaves. Like I said, these are really all messed up in the packages because at the retreat, we just had a blast with them. But there's the leaves, and that one's called Flower Vines Pattern. And some copy webs. Now, how cool would that be on an artist, uh, one of those coins? Punch that, foil this, punch it out, and put it on one of those coins. That would be really, really cool. All right, so there's all the patterns that I have. I guarantee you she has many, many more. All right, I am going to, today, let's do an animal. Because I have not done an animal, and I want to see how they turn out. I think it's going to be really cool. Let's move these out of the way. This is the one we just did. And like I said, we're gonna, this is a review. It's only supposed to be 10 minutes, but hang on, guys, because it's going to be longer than that. All right. So I'm going to do an animal. Uh, let's see. I like the elephant, elephant and the giraffe so far the best. Yeah, let's do the elephant and the giraffe. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is find my cutter. My art room is a complete disaster. I have no idea how it's gotten this way, but it's just crazy. So instead of cutting them um, individual, I'm just going to cut them. I'm just going to do it like this, and I'm only going to use the half. I'll just do it this way. So let's move these out of the way. Let's find our sheet of copy paper, which is right here. Again, we're going to put these in here. Now, what color do I want to put on them? Let's use, uh, let's use this today. This is another um, type of paper that she has. To me, I, I call it holographic. I honestly am not positive what the name of it is. I will look on her website, and if I can find it, um, I will let you guys know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off a piece just wide enough for this. That's probably a little bit too wide. Oh, it's 
fine. I'm going to cut this off because we don't need that. And I'm going to cut about that much off. Now, like I said, these little pieces, you don't have to throw them away. You can use them to foil something else. You know, maybe you want to uh, do a collage foil. That's something I'd like to try. Um, maybe you just want to use them down in your journal for, um, you know, pieces of the background. All right, so I've got my animals in there. I've got my foil in there. And because of the size of my machine, I've got to cut down my foil. Sorry, my hands are shaking. I'm in the process of changing medications and it's making me shake a lot, but that's all right. Yeah, I just cut a piece of the paper. I don't care. All right, so let's put them in. We remember we've got to have it hot, which it's, it's hot. We're going to take it. We're going to put it in closed side first. We're going to wait until it grabs it. Let it go. and not worry about it. Now these, these I'm actually going to do um, once I get done with this video. So let's just move this stuff aside. Because I'm showing you how to do it this way and then I want to show you another way. So let's just, it's not dry yet. Wait for this to come out. Now again, don't forget to just kind of give it a second to um, to cool down, and that just ensures that you have uh, you have the foil on the piece. Okay, so just give it a second. You can actually feel it. I mean, it, it cools off rather quick. All right, here we go. Let's see how our animals came out. And this is the exciting part. <laughs> Look at that. How cool is that? I love them. Yay! All right. Awesome. I'm going to be doing more of those animals. So you're going to see an animal page coming soon. Now look at this. You actually have a complete outline of an elephant um, with the holograph around it. So you could use this. You could actually use this on the front of a card. You know, cut it up really nice. Put it down. Um, maybe you just want to write a note in here or... You know, whatever you want to do with, with the cards to make it work. This is just really neat. All right, so we're going to move that aside. Now, there's a couple other ways that you can use this foil with the laminator. Um, the first one is not dry, so we're going to work on the second one. I went on to my printer. I have a laser printer, and um, it's actually a toner printer. And I printed out this quote says, my wings are broken, my halo's bent, and my horns are showing. Yeah, it's going to be one of those days. And then it has the person that did it, and it's so small I can't read it. So I'm only using this for personal purposes. I'm not using it to sell, so I can do this with a foil. All right, let's try. Let's use this one. We're going to use some of the this. Let me just get it open. There we go. All right, so I don't need a huge piece of this, but I'm gonna cut a bunch of it off. Yeah, I don't care about how my edges are. It's no big deal. Yeah, see, I always try to put stuff away. That's why my room looks like a disaster. All right, this is just, that was put on the edge so that you can find the edge and it doesn't get all unrolled in there. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little piece of this, just big enough to cover my little square here. All right, so that's going to cover my the thing I printed out on my printer. So I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to stick the foil on it. Now, do I want it up and down or do I want it sideways? Eh, let's do it sideways. That's tilted. Let's do it this sideways. There we go. All right. Nope, it's not going to work. Okay, we got to do it up and down because I didn't cut it big enough. That's all right. No big deal. So we're going to, again, put it in our sheet of copy paper. Just make sure that it's nice and smooth. Let's put it in the laminator and see how it works.
All right, while we're doing that, I'm gonna put you guys on hold for a second and I'm gonna see if I can get this to dry because we're gonna try this process also. I'll be right back. All right guys, I had a boo-boo and I'm gonna show you what happened. Okay, when I put this in, look at that, that's how it turned out. How cool is that? Okay, and it's messed up here on the end and I'll show you why. Um, this is just on a piece of copier paper. Again, I printed it out. Now what happened is when I put this in, I didn't keep an eye on it and sometimes it'll start to go like this. You have to try to get it to grab straight and what happens is it grabbed and then it tried to keep going but it was like this trying to come out all right and so then it just got all backed up so be careful how you put them in your um laminating machine and look at that you actually get the words left on the plastic which i think is really neat so i didn't print that twice but I have this. Now, this is a third way that you can use the foil. This is the DecoArt Transfer Gel. Now, I'm going to be very honest with you. I have never used this. I've never tried it this way. So let's see what happens. What you're supposed to do is take your transfer gel and put it through whatever stencil you want or whatever shape you want. If you want to draw something, draw it with the... Um, this oil, this deco foil, deco arts foil transfer gel. And uh, what I did is I used a couple stencils. The first one I used was the skulls. I think this is a Dina week or Diane Reevely. And can you see it? Just bare, barely, you can see the the color. And then I used wings. Now, it says to let it dry for about an hour before you use it. Um, I've been helping it dry, so I hope that doesn't mess it up, but we'll see. So I'm going to take this foil. I'm going to take, uh, let's see, I don't need that big. I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to put that right there on my skulls. Okay. Now, if you notice, this time I'm using a large, large size sheet of copier paper that's fine you just put another large sheet of copier paper over it now the biggest thing was this is when you put it in you've got to make sure that your foil is still on your gel so let's see what happens now do i put this through a laminator let's see uh, da, 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 da. place inside and run through a hot laminator perfect all right so you still do have to have your laminator for this So we are going to send it through the laminator and let's see if this works. I've never tried this. So I'm really interested in seeing if this process um, works as good as just the foilables. Because if so, then it opens you up a little bit more. So you could, any of your stencils you can use with this foil gel and you can foil them, I hope. <laughs> now see how it's cockeyed? So I really have to keep an eye on this because it's a very good possibility it's going to bend up through here. We'll see what happens. I'm excited. I hope this works. <laughs> I hope, um, you guys that are watching, I really hope that you're getting some, see it's starting to curl here. So if I would have had something all the way down here, I would have had a problem. Um, I hope you guys, you know, get something from this. Uh, I like to play around in the studio and I like to just have fun with my supplies and see what I can do with them. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Now don't pull on this. Let it actually come out on its own, as you know, with a laminator. Okay, it's free. We're going to let it cool for a minute. And like I said, you can tell this part's warm. This is already cool. And there we go. It's both cool. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I think I had a little bit of deco art there. Let's see. Let's see. Did it work? Ta-da! Look at those wings. See that? See the wings? 
So now I have these wings, and I have, if I can get my fingernail under it, come on, I get my fingernails done again. Look it, look it, skeletons. How cool is that? <laughs> this just opened up a huge world because I've got so many stencils, and look at that. How beautiful is that? All right, now, so I've showed you all three ways that um, I work on this, or I will be working on this. And this is really cool. I, I've got to print another one of these and do it again because, like I said, I messed up on the edge here and some of the words aren't showing. But isn't that neat? Now, remember, this is with a black background. On your printer, whatever is black is what's going to take the foil. If there's not black, it's not going to take a foil. All right. I'm not sure about colored. I think, let's try something. Oh, no, I don't have a right picture. Um, I think if you try to do colored like tones, I think the foil is going to pick up on every one of them. So you'll just end up with a solid pattern of foil. But this is really, really cool. I love these foilables. Laura, thank you so much. We had so much fun with these. And I'm just going to bring some more out here so you can see them. Um, we just had so much fun with these. And a lot of the girls um, did a bunch of them to do for Christmas cards and, you know, thank you cards. And, and the possibilities are endless. So here we go with DecoArt Foil Transfer Gel with our foilables from Creative Vision Stamps. Okay, and like I said, I will make sure to put the link to these places in the description box below. And again, I used the foil from Creative Vision, and this one's been unrolled, but that's okay. Um, I used the foil from Creative Vision because I really like her colors, and I really like the quality of the foil. I love this. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful teal. This will look great on those, um, doot, doot, doot. what do you call them? Snowflakes that I don't have to see anymore. Yay! But anyways, <laughs> all right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review and I really hope that it helps you out. And if you decide you want to play around with some foils, um, check it out. It's a lot of fun and it just gives something different to your projects, which I think is just really, really cool. All right. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying my creative year this year. Uh, we are going to continue it next year. Um, however, it's going to be a little bit different. So I hope you guys enjoy, and we will chat with you soon. Don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about, and happy creating, and happy holidays. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.